Well, I think it's been excellent because we had some six CEOs and all of us bring tremendous experience to the table. So to interact with young students, give us the benefit of whatever we've learned during our careers, I think that's amazing and I think we should do more of these. I think Enactus overall has been doing really good work. In fact, I've been on the advisory board of Enactus for the last year or so. And I'm always impressed at the quality of students, the amount of confidence that people have in engaging with Enactus. I mean, the depth of the projects that people are doing. So I think Enactus is a phenomenal movement. It should continue in this country and hopefully all over the world. I think it's just great. I mean, as I said, the kind of work and the kind of uh, uh, depth that students get into it when they work with you know, social issues or social activities is very good because at the end of the day, when we are building young citizens in this country, we really need to give them a comprehensive view of what the country really needs. It's very easy to get a job in an investment bank and be very successful. But there is more to life than just making money or being successful in your career. Doing good to people, making other people feel happy, I think that's what life is all about. And Enactus is really one of the enablers that is making it happen. So congratulations and continue doing great work. My advice to young students always is to be happy. Because there's too much negativism all around us, whether it's in the press or negative news we hear all the time. Build a positive impression of yourself, the world, the environment around you. Make other people happy and I'm sure we'll all build a great nation and a great world together. Yeah, this was a very good experience, particularly for students to understand the uh, experiences and success stories of business leaders. And particularly with respect to women, what has really helped them become successful and getting inspired from their stories. So that is what I think the session has managed to achieve. This initiative is very good. It gives students an opportunity to understand the real life problems and find solutions to those uh, situations. And uh, possibly this also sows the seed of entrepreneurship and uh, future leadership thoughts in them. So from that perspective, it is a very good initiative. Okay. From the little that I know of uh, Enactus and uh, its uh, interactions with the students across uh, different parts of the country, if they are doing the same kind of projects in different locations, it must really be doing them good and also doing good for the society that uh, they have been able to um, touch from their respective locations. Well, uh, in today's context, there are lots and lots of opportunities. You just have to sharpen your mind, keep your minds open, listen, and uh, just go out and do what your heart tells you to do and become successful at that. It was very interesting because there were different thoughts that really came out. It was not just about you know women, women empowerment. It was also about what roles men play in the lives of women and how they have uh, helped women. They have uh, given women the opportunity to really succeed in life. Oh, I think it's a wonderful initiative. I have been personally, um, you know, attached to this initiative right from uh, 2012 and I've been the national juror where, you know, I go through the uh, great work that the students do on the campus. And I think the, the biggest key is that shaping mindsets at a very early age is very important. So shaping mindsets of students to be entrepreneurs, to be business people, that is the role that really Enactus is playing as well as at the same time creating the social impact. Uh, I think the work uh, that the students themselves are doing is quite commendable because at the end of the day uh, they don't have, they don't, they're not given the resources up front. It's not like, hey, okay, this is uh, X number of uh, rupees that you have and now you go and do some. You have to generate all the resources yourself. May it be funding, try to look at which is the social cause that you would be working at and how to make the model sustainable. I think that role that the students have taken upon themselves flows through what really Enactus has done for the students. So I think it's a highly successful model, needs to go to large scale. I mean, I think currently there are about 76 campuses that are involved in the Enactus work and we have so many other campuses. It's a, it's a matter of just taking it to more and more colleges involving more and more students because students are really going to be the entrepreneurs or the business people for tomorrow. I think my advice to the young students is maybe three or four areas. Stay focused, be committed, show the ownership, show perseverance, show the conviction and be smart because I believe that 
the harder you work, the luckier you get. Well, this is very important because the actual face-to-face -face interaction of students with business leaders will definitely give them better idea what's happening. They can get their questions or their doubts clarified. And I'm sure it's also quite motivating to listen to business leaders who have done some achievements against all the odds. Because everybody needs that kind of a assurance that, look, you have come from a background and how you can really make it possible uh, higher up in the career or in personal life. And I think these kind of sessions do give a kind of a confidence and reassurance to every upcoming student that, yes, he's got a bright future ahead. Well, uh, I am not uh, kept fully, but Farhan has been briefing me earlier also and unfortunately I missed the opportunity to attend one of the Enactis uh, program. I think it was in Brazil or Mexico uh, two years back. I was to go as one of the panelists, but I, what I understand from him is the work which is happening with the young generation is very, very important and influencing leadership among the young youth. That's the way I look at it. Well, I think the advice is too, too big a word, I say, but what I say that one has to have a positive outlook, take the challenges as they come and be inquisitive. Because my own belief is that innovation is the key for future progress and innovation comes out of the inquisitiveness. So don't allow your inquisitiveness to die. It is very crucial because in today's clutter of social media and all other things, the chance of having this inquisitiveness may get harmed. That's my personal feeling. And I feel that if they keep the inquisitiveness and focus, a lot can be achieved in life by this youth. Well, I think it's been a very good session, very interesting session. Um, I think the kind of work Enactus is doing is uh, very rewarding for the students. Uh, in the industry, we always look for well-rounded students who are grounded, uh, who are rooted and who have the maturity to know, you know, to know how to work in a corporate world. And I believe that such interactions with industry leaders uh, give students a perspective, uh, helps them to think about you know, the, uh, their future in a very uh, uh, open-minded way. I think therefore this is very rewarding for them and as well as for the industry to get students who really have, you know, have this uh, very rewarding experience with them. As I said before, I think it's amazing um, that they are investing in the young uh, generation, which is our future. I think that um, when children or when students come out of uh, college institutes and they join corporate world, sometimes they really don't know uh, what to expect, how to behave, how to think about their careers, how to contribute, how to plan. And organizations like Enactus are giving them that exposure. They're helping them also to conduct uh, projects in rural India or many other areas, which give them some sort of a first-hand feel and experience. And I think it broadens them, broadens their perspectives, makes them more mature and more prepared for their future. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me for this session. Uh, as I said in my speech just now, it was perhaps the first time that I shared my life story and my experiences with anyone. Uh, and it was great if uh, whatever I have done in my life, if I can share some of that with the students especially and share how my career shaped and how they can benefit from that. Uh, it was a great uh, event today uh, to be able to do that. And I'm so happy that I took time out to be here today. I, I am associated with Enactus for over two years now. You know, I was introduced uh, by one of my friend to Farhan. And the first time I ever got to know about Enactus was uh, at the finale of the annual competition that Enactus does. And I was a judge uh, at that. And that day was a life-changing experience for me. You know, when I was uh, judging the final, final for that day, the projects that the students were doing, uh, the way corporates were supporting that, and the actual real social work that was happening when I got to see that, my eyes really opened and that is the day I decided that I will stay close to Enactus. Uh, right now I am very happy that as BNY Mellon we are uh, supporting Enactus in a very small way. I think the real work is happening between the education institutes and Enactus which, which can't be, I mean, the money just can't do uh, and I wish all the luck for Enactus and MIT now that is uh, going to be taking it forward. 
uh, it's a great initiative that every corporate in India should be supporting. Uh, by that, if you mean that what students are doing, uh, for students I think, what is in this is that they get to work on a real life project. You know, the, you know when, when I look at my career, the real learning that happens actually is on the job. Uh, as students, if you are getting to do a live project, uh, you are getting to run a company, you are getting to manage finances, you are getting to manage people. Uh, and make a difference uh, to the community. I think you can't ask for more than that. And any college going student or any education institute, I highly recommend that should partner with Enactus and be part of this movement. My advice to young students, there, I, there could be many. Uh, uh, as I said in my speech just now, India is truly, I think, going through a, a golden phase of what we can achieve. Uh, the youth of today uh, can make a difference. You know, uh, the skills that this country requires, uh, we have. Uh, we need speed, but at the same time, I'll say we need patience as well. You know, sometimes uh, the younger generation that I see, the aspiration to move faster and forward is there. Uh, but experience is equally important. So balance between speed and experience is if we can if we can achieve uh, every person's career uh, may grow really well.